You know who's not signed up? Who? The anchovy, bro. The anchovy should sign up. You should get that money. You should get that money. I thought you were gonna say like you. Oh. <laughs> As in like the audience. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, you guys should sign up too. <laughs> Dude, you know what? You see TSK is a red jacket? Yeah. Like, isn't that so iconic? What, do you associate that jacket with TSK? No, I, oh. I, this is the first time I've ever seen really? him wear that Cause jacket. Because like, when, when I was a freshman at UW and I saw TSK, I always see him in that jacket. Dude, Baseline's going to... Normal Baseline? Uh, controller Evergreen. monitor? Yeah. That guy did my controller. But right now, we're not talking about Evergreen Rising. We're talking about the Grand Finals of Reign 11. This is Grand Finals. Grand Finals. These are the best players in the entire This room. is the best players in Washington right now. Wait, no, you're so... No Chango, that's no the best. Jello, no You see that? No that was the best player in Washington. I, the third best player in Washington would not hit those. I know that. Mm. Oh my god. Dude, you can just see this. You can just see how high level this gameplay is. I can. Actually, I can't. It's just too high level for me. <laughs> I think the. But you know what? The winner of this tournament. Dude, the straight up is it's OP. I, I don't think so because he got punished. <laughs> well, maybe it's because of what he did right after. He, I think it was the thing. What he down aired right a Peach at zero percent and he got grabbed. This is ins this is a battle between two regions. Two, yeah, Sowa and Beham. No Seattle lights in sight. Yeah, Seattle sucks, bro. Who who even is Seattle here? I guess Vincent Vince? Seattle, but you know it's Vince's. Yeah, Vince's. yeah, yeah. And Vince is heading out of the tournament. He did great. GG's. I I love that guy. He, could, he that guy beats Stiv. Oh my God, that guy beats Stiv. Yeah. Can you believe that? I don't know if anybody did anybody in the venue see that? Do you or were they just playing friends? I feel like it should be a shock that an unranked player would beat a top he, 100 he player. He's unranked. Yeah. But, but you know. Dude, this is a rivalry. This is the second second round two. This was a uh, 3-1 for Gra Graves. 3-1. Let's say two. I think. Two, really? Yeah. It was some. So. uh... We're looking, we might see a tight battle here. Could go down to the wire. But Anchovy could just get a quick 3-0. And get the true a, Grand Finals. Yeah, he's on a good run. He's on a good run. I believe in him. Anchovy's playing so much more confident. These two are both reign champions. Oh my god. Yeah. So it's just, uh, it's like Cavs versus Warriors. They both been here. They know what it takes to be a champion, to win it all. They just got to execute. Yeah, it's crazy. These these guys, they're used to winning tournaments. These they're are the most winning people in this whole room. They've won the most things out of everybody here. Honestly, in the whole, if you say the whole state, <laughs> that, that, these these do actually every TRC actually wins. Graves every Bellingham weekly he wins. He he's does he is he is winning. I don't know the last time he hasn't won. Has he ever lost to Bellingham? We probably think? not. Uh, I don't think so. I think if you look at if you look at his uh, ever since he was born, he's a winner. He he stays winning. That's so true. If you look at his uh, stats page, it's all green. That was a what a lazy, what a turn it. Just that that just killed him. Oh, that's just an edge guard. That's just an edge guard. There you go. That's championship DNA right there at Anchovy. Let's go Anchovy. Woo! Dude, it's not crazy how Graves has the earbuds. Yeah. But Anchovy has his ears open. He's an ears opener. He doesn't care about it's nobody. He doesn't care about the audience. He's so focused. Everyone's so intensely watching the, watching the set. Mm -hmm. There's so much pressure. There is a lot of pressure. But for Anchovy, it's, it's, just, it's just another day. He's, he's so used to it. Everybody's hearts are pumping, myself included. Dude, I don't even want to it's check just... my heart rate because I'm scared of how high it's going to be. Here, I got you, bro. Is, is this your left side? Yeah. yeah. I think you need to see a doctor. I don't, I don't feel your heartbeat. <laughs> 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 uh, you know, some, sometimes things together, sometimes if it's like too tense, just like freeze yeah. up. Maybe, what if it's like the flash and like your heart's beating so fast it can't be detected?
Wait, I'm sure we won game one. Yeah, we won. We saw it. Nice. How do you get the up air? I know Lula's a fan. Like what? I, whoa. That's the Lula. He just did the Lula. <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> I was looking at Lula. It was so awesome that I can't even describe what happened. I, you just had to watch the VOD again. <laughs> I'm going to watch the VOD. You'll be you'll be surprised. It's that that's a certified a Lula. Lula move. Dude, do you think Lula could have done that? You know, do you think Lula taught Graves? Oh, that maneuver? definitely. I know they've been playing friendlies. Dude, I I've seen their DMs. And it's kind of long and lengthy. Yeah, it's probably exact. I don't know the exacerbated by uh, by Graves' perfect grammar. Does Graves use perfect grammar when he types? Probably. I think. Have Was you it? ever DM'd Graves, Graves in your life? No, he doesn't like me. What? He hates me, just like how Max hates me. And Dequil? Yeah, Dequil hates me too. <laughs> Dude, why do you have so many enemies? I don't know, man. Does that does, does uh, Miguel hate you too? Yeah, that guy hates me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> do I hate you? I don't know, do you? That'd be sad if you hate me. I don't hate you, Andrew. You know what I don't hate? I don't like. I don't hate this play because this is a. Uh, oh, this is looking. This is looking great. What players? Oh. oh my! What attack, dude? That was. I feel like I'm watching like Cody or something. This is like the best Falco gameplay I've seen. Yeah. Graves has been on point, but still, Anchovy's keeping it tight. To down to the last docks. Oh no! But he got a knockdown. Oh. Could not get the Oh base. my god! Yeah. Dang, look at all these players that couldn't make it to Grand Look models. at the path that Graves and Anchovy had to get through here. It's insane. Shout out to Nern. I miss you, bro. I wish you were here. Where did he go? I don't know. I, I wish. That is, that's my goat, honestly. Is he your goat? Yeah. That guy's amazing. This, he beat Anchovy and Bladewise at that 1v. That's neither here nor there. Bladewise? Yeah, Teddy. Well, I can't, beat Bladewise? I can't use his name on him like that. Yeah. Do you see how he downered five times in a row and then did an approaching downer and the approaching downer hit? Is that the Bobby? Is that the Bobby? I just know Bobby does a lot of down downing, especially against like floaties and puff, like puff. You think Graves learned how to downer from Bobby? Definitely. I think. I think. Oh my god! Training. Yeah, I feel like Graves is like. There's so many Falcos that like. He's like an Alma. He's like. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I think I think you're just in awe of witnessing what Graves is doing right now to Anchovy. Wait, if Graves wins, he just wins the tournament. Yeah. And then what? The void is just, you know. What happens if Graves wins? The stream dies, the bot ends, and then we just we disappear. So we die if Graves wins. Digitally, yes. Anchovy, I need you to. Uh, <laughs> get a, we need you to prolong our get a, existence. You gotta dig deep. I think Anchovy can still win this. You gotta game. get these grabs. Yo, yeah, right, Anchovy just needs like three grabs. Well, four grabs. Maybe do some crazy weak dash attack into uh, up smash shenanigans. Yeah, that's basically that's the Miguel. Yeah, he just, he just okay, okay. There. This is this is pretty doable. That's the that's the I don't know. I don't like up being there. That's oh wait like a second, is that it? Oh, how did? Uh, oh my. Yeah, Where's that's kind of rough. To, his recovery is too high level. Yeah. Isn't it crazy how if Antrim guessed right, it would be even? Yeah. But now Graves is winning because Antrim just guessed it's wrong. It's like, it's just, you just get grabs and you win. But like, why do you see any grabs? Oh! The trade master. <laughs> that's funny. You know, I'm thinking the Peach Shadow was a lot quicker than I thought. Was it? Like, I thought I thought we'd be in here for like 40 minutes. <laughs> well, we did. It was a 3-0, and there was no timeout. Yeah, so. it was like 20 minutes long. I think it yeah. was just a normal set length. Mm. I feel like the Vincent from Stiff set was longer. <laughs> yeah, honestly, yeah. <laughs> like that one Dreamlight game. That was that was kind of insane. That I think that'll go on the the Hall of Fame of Washington Melee. To be honest. Oh, how many people are gonna know about that game? 
If we bring I, it up. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be at least two people. I will petition for everybody to know about to it. To know about the game. I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask. Whoever runs the Washington Melee Twitter page to put that clip, put that clip on their Twitter. That was a big goal. You see that? Yeah, I saw it. Do you think they can hear what we're saying? Do you think Ashraf can hear our commentary? Probably. And then like make adjustments based on what we're saying. I think they're too focused on the game to really do. Oh my God. I think even when we focus, you hear background noises, right? That's true, but you know you're, you're locked in. Like remember, these, are, these people are lock iners. Hmm. Well, I don't crazy to walk in, especially because he has the headphones, the earbuds. Yeah, um, oh, Wait a second! Wait! Scared. What happened? Nothing. I just got scared. Uh, Dude, this is, this is the situation. We did see the situation So before. many times. Graves is jumping a lot less. He's, he's staying more grounded. Dude, what if... Okay, it's so... It's working. If Andrew wins, what if I look at Deep Bolt? <laughs> you can do what you want. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He does. He gets the shield grab, There's dude. No way, he Andrew. He got the shield grab. No way. Does no. Oh, does he finish his food? No. No. Oh my God. no. It. Okay. Okay. Things might. Be dude. There's no way. Peach always wins. There's. Uh, yeah, and he looks at David. He looks. Oh, David's there's not even looking. There's David? no. There's oh, no. David. What is Peach? That's the third time we've seen this happen. I. Uh, you know what? He's just clutch. But Vincent also clutched. Let's all with got, that. He's got the championship DNA. There's no way we have two these, people with championship these DNAs. These are rain. You always want to see the matchup against two people who's already won it. Because it's like, you know you're going to get the best. I don't know, man. Sometimes I want new faces because they can make an insane upset. No, bro. I'm a hater. You want a hater? Yeah. What I'm if, what a, if, what if, what if, what if, what if I was here? Hater. What if I was Anchovy in this situation? <laughs> uh, I mean... No, I'd rather have Graves. I mean, That's I'd insane. Have, yeah. I'd rather have Andrew. Okay. Yeah. Because they're champions. You're not a champion. What have you won? But then how do you become the champion without being in the grand finals you for the first prove time? Me wrong. You gotta prove me wrong. So for, to me to get your support, I have to prove you wrong. Yeah. That's insane. Fans are fickle, you know? Because they don't understand. What, what really matters is the opinion of the man in the arena, not the, not the critic. Is Anchovy the man in the arena? These two are both the men in the arena. They're the men right in now. the arena. So this is the arena. This is the arena. These are the men, and we are the critics. And what we say doesn't really matter. What You're really right. matters is how they play. The things we're saying, I don't think they don't care about it, right? What really matters? <laughs> Definitely not. We're, we're critics. We're critics. Nobody likes a critic, right? Like, think about being an art critic. Like, that's a job. That's a career. No, it's no way that's an actual job. It's a career. <laughs> There's people, people that just critique what people will see art and they'll be like, yeah, I like this or I don't like it, and then they get paid for it. What? That's such a fake job. <laughs> they like they, they like write an article. They're like, yes, I like I like this painting. Or they're like, no, I do not like this painting. What? And then they get paid for it. They get money. And then those people who that, are fighting for their lives yeah, right now. That's basically everybody who does stats in melee. <laughs> oh my god. But that's like that's like a data scientist. Yeah. That's like different, I think. Because that, because their purpose is to find the truth that's, in the world. Yeah, that's true. We are, we are the true critics, the people who don't matter. We don't matter. We do. We don't and we don't get paid. We don't get paid. That's tragic. I'm gonna petition RJ. RJ's not even watching, bro. Who is he? Imagine if RJ interviews the players and he's like, "Yeah, it's really, it was really cool when you did this, this, and that," but like, he didn't even watch it. I think Isn't if you, I think as a as an interviewer. You could be like, so I really like your downers and stuff. Can you tell us? I think that's good. You don't have to watch the set to ask that question. And then yeah. I think you can have some really but insightful What if on insights. the off chance neither player has used a, a down air in the whole set? I don't think that's possible. I think it's possible. I think I think there's one melee set where it has happened. With In a Falco Peach set? Yes. I think it only happens if they one of them intentionally tries to not down air, but I don't count those. Do you want to try that next time we play? I tried like laserless or like... Sometimes I do like one move less. It's actually pretty tough. Oh, the weight. Punching. He's okay. Punching. Graves needs to get the stock because Anchovy can just insta kill Graves at any moment. Okay. We're in a, we're in a good spot right now. We're so back. Because if Anchovy that's like 150%, Graves can take some YOLO risks and maybe get a kill. Right. What? 
So, wow. What the heck? How, okay, that's no That's a championship. Uh, that was a that was a ship shine. That was a championship side B. Yeah. You know, dude. You know, I learned how to side B to edge like this year. It's pretty difficult that's to crazy. do. Yeah. And Graves just did it in like in the arena. I remember, I remember you you were telling me about that. I yeah. Was like, I should learn that. It's such a it's, it's such like a, it's like difficult but also like good to do and like simple. It's all all three at the same time. Do you think those are the most valuable skills to learn? Simple, effective, and what was it? And difficult. Like difficult to do. Yeah, definitely. It's, I think this is I think that might be why these players are in grand finals. Yep, because they learn all of these skills. There, are, these players are so skilled. They do the hard things that are effective, but they're a bit, but they also make it look simple. Yeah, yeah. Like that, that tech chase. That was that's probably think, hard to do. You think you can hit that at home? But I there's no you. way I can hit that. Nobody's hitting that at home. The only people who's, who's hitting that is anchovy. Only anchovy. Dominic, right here. Oh, that was weird. This is tournament winner. Do you want to see a grand finals reset? Uh, I'm neutral right now. I'm just enjoying the moment. So how was your uh, caramel wrap from Starbucks? It was, it was good. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Thanks for asking. You think these players are caffeinated right now? I think uh, I think a lot of uh, melee players are drug users, and that's including alcohol and caffeine. So uh, yeah. But I feel like Graves is Graves is vegan though. I think you can consume caffeine. I feel like the people who are like vegan adjacent also tend to not drink uh, that much alcohol. Because yeah, yeah. they're more healthy? Yeah, yeah. And they probably don't do the caffeine, I think. Maybe. We okay, should so. ask Sam. As far as Sam. He's vegan. That guy plays soccer. Sam is so healthy. Yeah. Except uh, he did bring the wheat gummies over the border, so that's a you know, that's a knock against his record. Did you see that? No. Well, I did, but I don't, I'm not really processing it. What happened? He was on top flat, and they just like spun around. Like the down smash? No, he, the grave just spun around on top flat. That's so swag. Why did he do that? Swag. Like imagine he was on, he's on top flat and he just like walked facing the other way, and they walked around again. He just need, he just needed to he needed to be in that spot. He knows what he's doing. I trust Graves. Do you trust Graves? I trust. Oh him. my God! What? Yo! And he makes it. And he uh. dies. And he shakes his head. It was good. I liked it. Do you liked it? Yeah. Do you think they liked it though? Do you think it's? Do you think that's good to do for stalling? You're right. If it was like 30 seconds, that might be the play. Oh, I can't believe he up smashed. Oh my God! He waited for the down smash. Down. I think, you think Graves is winning this? He's got the lead. Do I think Graves is gonna win this game? Yeah. I think he's gonna win this game. Do I want him to win this game? Uh, I, I I wanna see game 10, last stock. Do you think Graves fans are, do you think they're sweating? Or they're like, yeah, he's got this. I feel like Graves fans just kinda, I feel like they trust in him, unless it's like a last stock situation. Then things can get a bit dicey. But right now, he has all the control. Anchovy's got a... I've seen Anchovy do some crazy comebacks. We saw we saw two FD games where he just, he just kills them off in air. But maybe in the reset on FD, Graves might win. He might break the curse. Good. Good. But Graves could also just win right now. undefeated on FD. That's like a Wilt Chamberlain stat. Damn. So Anchovy's Bull Chamberlain? Yes, 100%. Is it true that he can dunk from the free throw line? Yeah. Oh my god. What, what's what's the Anchovy equivalent of that? Uh, Nair... <laughs> shield, <laughs> shielding, shielding an aerial and Nair. So every time... <laughs> the game. So every time Anchovy Nairs out of shield, that's a dunk from the free, free throw line. Yep. Oh my god. Because those... Yeah. We haven't seen that many dunks this game, though. That might be why Graves is winning. Yeah, you gotta flex your athleticism. I hear Graves has, has been working out. Yeah, some people have been saying that. So you've heard it too. 
I've, I heard Google say that, yeah. You think it's transferred uh, to his game floor? Does he play like someone that works out? <laughs> uh, yes, he's he's quite disciplined. Mm. I guess he do need a lot of discipline to work out. Yeah. You know what Anchovy needs to do? What does Anchovy need to do? He needs to channel his Vincesa. Hmm. Well, he did the first part of being down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, okay. wait! Ah, uh, get up, please, Anchovy. I need you to clutch. The stadium's roaring. Dude, I see in this combo. I can feel everyone standing up behind us. They're intensely watching it. Because they know the tournament could end at any moment. They know. They're chanting Graves' name. Graves. Graves. So tense. Dude, can Antrim clutch this? Oh my god, that's it! Oh my god! Congrats! Congrats. Congratulations to Eli Graves, the winner of Rain 11. Oh my god. Rain 11. It just happened! Do you wanna, do you wanna interview him? <laughs> okay. Okay. You all saw that, right? I saw it. That was, that, was, that was a great play. Would you like to do an interview with the, with me, Eli? Hey, how are hey. you doing? Doing good. How are you? I'm doing all right. Yeah. You just won Rain 11. How's it feel? It feels incredible. Feels incredible. Feel, uh, is it another day in the office for you, or is it just like you always no. get excited after the wins? I get excited. Well, I I don't beat uh, Anchovy that much. I see. Like I think okay. we're pretty even in sets, hmm. uh, lifetime, and they were obviously close sets too. Yeah. So I'm not necessarily proud of how I played or anything. I'm definitely happier with set two, but I'm really happy that I was able to not like choke against Peach, which is my hmm. yeah. my kryptonite. Do you find uh, Anchovy to be a clutch player? Because uh, he's got some, he's got some like comebacks in FD. The FD you. ones, he was absolutely a clutch player. He would not let me kill him with any of my moves. Yeah. Wow. Well, also, I, I went for down air, which is so silly. Like I don't know. I'm playing really nervous on those stages too. Yeah. I noticed um, on the first FD game, um, on the winner set, mm -hmm. you were doing like these, these really, you're playing really vertically, doing these jumps. Yeah. Did you? Was that intentional? Or was that kind of nerves? Or what was that? Uh, I think that. Falco plays optimally on the ground, okay. and the only issue with that for me is that you have to play very reactively to dash attack I and see. whatnot, and I am not incredible at that because I don't practice Peach matchup like ever because there's no Peaches that will like play with uh, me. Ah, yeah. You know, so like True. playing vertically is a lot easier, and it works for what I need it to work for right now. I see. But optimally, I would play on the ground more like I did on uh, the second set. I yeah, think. definitely, definitely. Yeah. Where did you get that cookie? Costco, Costco That's cookie. A Costco cookie. That's a Costco food court cookie. Are you going to eat the whole thing today? Absolutely, absolutely. That's you got to get a slice of pizza and a cookie every day, and that's your <laughs> calories. How many? Do you know how many calories that is? Seven hundred fifty. It is seven hundred fifty. That's a. Uh, it's like the <laughs> same as this pizza. So it's like fifteen hundred <laughs> together. And you just got to have like a, a. That's a heavy cookie. Got to get some cookies yeah. at home or something. And you can round out your diet. Is that what you had today? A day. Is that how, what food? That's all I've had in? today. Is half that cookie and a slice of pizza. That's. That's incredible. Well, I, that's, I salute you. That I think it actually makes you win to like eat something while you're in the set. First of all, it tilts your opponent. Okay. And second of all, like you're distracted from how nervous you are and stuff because you're you're eating a cookie and you're like, man, this is a real <laughs> good cookie. And like it totally takes away the whole like, oh no, I'm gonna lose against like in this match. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. You know, make you seem more relaxed. After like a good game, you take a bite and then you're like, I deserve that. <laughs> you know. And you chew really loudly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you look at the mic, <laughs> you know, <laughs> not the mic, the camera. Are you going to Evergreen Rising 10? I am. I'm signed up for like every PNW tournament that's okay. coming up, except cool. for uh, yeah. that one in Idaho, in which is like, not yeah, yeah. it's really far away. I heard there's, wasn't there a tournament in Oregon that is for a Egg Dog Scramble invitation? Is oh. there? I think so. It's an invitation. I'm not sure I'm invited. <laughs> you should, you should. I, I feel like you make some it. waves. Yeah, I'll, right. I'll, I'll do my best. I really am into going to regionals right now. So if there are yeah, any I see you. vaguely accessible or affordable, then I'll okay. go to them. Do you feel like you're top 100? Not on the rankings, but yes. I have a positive yeah. record against most of the people I in the top 
like bottom 20 at least. So how, how come you weren't ranked? What because I didn't qualify and go to enough majors. Oh, I, I see. had the most top 100 wins out of all the players who didn't get in the top 100 because mm. I didn't qualify. Okay. Well, are you gonna get it next year? Yeah, I'm qualifying the majors, so I'm there you go. certain I will. I hope I hope you make it. Over under 50. Over under 50. I don't. I actually don't know what any of those words mean. Uh, your rank. Do you think you'll get lower or higher than 50? Oh, that's a great question. Absolutely fantastic question. And it really depends on whether I can pull together my like major mentality. When I go to majors, I play so poorly. Mm. Like, because first of all, I never sleep before I go to tournaments. Ah, that's the killer. And also, I like perhaps somewhat related. I get very nervous, especially on big stages when you go mm. on stage like against somebody that you've known your whole life. Yeah. And then you're like not sure. whole life since like I don't know. So I started in 2019, 2018. Yeah. Like, I've known this person, and I'm up against them on stage, and people are cheering, like, oh, man, I can't perform mm. at peak level, and I, I think see. that's a personality flaw. That's I'll work through it. That's definitely a skill that you need to have when competing. Yeah, absolutely. For that, going to majors is a good way to do that. I went to Genesis. Yeah. Got, I got some good perspective. I did terrible, but that's oh. exactly that's what you want. Yeah. You want to have those experiences <laughs> where you do terrible because you have to at some point. Everyone goes through it. Okay. And you uh, don't do as terrible the next time. How do you feel when you play against top players? Like, I saw you play Lucky at Genesis. Is there, like, a sense of fear, or are you, are you just confident? All I'm really confident against all the top players that I play against. Like, I feel like I could easily take the set. I just get stuck in shine. Ah. <laughs> it's amazing. That's Spacey Classic. It is the Spacey Classic. I have to, I mean, as a, as a Falco player, I think you got to work on your mental to the degree that that isn't you. You're not going to side be off stage and get stuck in shine whenever like any pressure is put on you. Yeah, Jello. Sure, for sure. <coughs> okay. Anything else you'd like to share? Um, any messages for your fans? Well, we got Let's Go Pee Bag. We got Let's Go to uh, the final WWU Weekly it has a $700 pot already. Ah, okay. So it's free to enter. You go to the last weekly uh, mm. WWU, $700 pot. You when, know? when is this? This is... I don't know. Next week? Read. When is the WWE finale? March 16th, Saturday. Saturday, March 16th. March 16th. 700. 700. 700 right now. We can still get in donations. You got. You guys still should enter. Right. Yeah, everyone That's should a, enter. We got many people who could who could make some waves. We got we got Calm Master. Mm -hmm. I know he's going mm -hmm. to Evergreen mm -hmm. Rising. Uh, the next one. Got Iceman. We got, you know, we got a bunch of people. I need Chango yeah. and I need uh, Jello because they've been I dodging need, me. I know. I want to see you play Jello. When was the last mm -hmm. time you played him? Played Jello. I don't know. Like uh, I maybe. Know. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's so what's long. that one? They are all in Seattle. What's that one at like Jed's place? Jed's place. Was that, it Smash and Scramble? That was like no. uh, Egg Dog. Yeah. Egg anyway, Dog Scramble I played them like somewhat recently, like last PR season, and I won. And that's the only time we played in like the last six months, maybe I think. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So we need more stats on that for sure, and I like playing Jello. Yeah, I think uh, it would definitely make the rankings more clear. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that's all the questions I have. All right. Perfect. Congratulations. Thank you very much. All right. Well, this has been Rain Eleven. See you for the next one.